Hi friends. This is Nourish. I am a Metaho data integration developer. People will call it as kettle and spoon as well. So when I start learning the Pentaho data integration, so as a beginner, I could not find much resources on the web. Uh, so I faced a lot of issues while learning this Pentaho data integration. And I struggled a little bit. So now I gained a little bit knowledge on this. So and thought of making some videos, whatever I learn on this Pentaho data integration so that it might be helpful some others who started their learning here. So as a part of it, first we need to install it so for for installation you don't need to download any .exe file or mac available for linux buildable file so it would be a zip file and unzip it and ready to use it so i'm going to show how this can be done so go to open google chrome and download Pentaho PDI and the you know the first link would be would be uh, from sourceforce.net and the official website would be uh, you know community.hitachitara.com so so as a learner so we need to download community edition so if you want to buy you can go for enterprise edition as well so so as a developer you can download you know, I, I, I mean, we can learn, we can download Comet Edition and learn it. And for learning purpose, you can download Comet Edition. So uh, let me click on this official website first. And if you see, it's opening Comet Edition and data integration kettle. Then you can find various links to download it and let me open more here we have actually this one yeah so if you see here there are various various packages available from this so one is business analytics platform data integration report designer and aggregate designer scheme for case and media Metadata editor. So currently our concentration is on data integration and is and one package is for all OS. So let me click on that. So it will open one page like this. Uh, give all the details and click on submit. Then you you are going it you are going to download comment edition file so let me, oh, let me show you that so currently i have downloaded the 8.1 edition you can uh, download any version as you want you know, uh, from the available version so currently i i am using 8.1 edition because the local databases which i installed for learning uh which are, are suitable only for 8.1 so so I install uh, install eight point one. So let me show you that. So here I have downloaded the Pentaho PDI comment edition eight point one, and the, I I unzipped it. So that's how we can uh, use it. So the file size would be around one point one to uh, one point one to one point two uh, GB, I guess. So download that file and unzip it. So I opened it file. Pentaho, we are in Pentaho data integration now. And if you see, you need, you need to uh, consider there are few important files and directories in this. So let me go one by one out of it. So if you see this spoon dot bat and the spoon dot 
SH file should be there. Yeah, where is that SH file? Spoon dot SH. Yeah, there it is. Spoon dot SH and spoon dot bat. These are the files. I mean, these are the application need to be run for the development of ETLs. I mean, it opens one editor like window so where you develop transformation to jobs. And there are two other two important files one is pan.sh and pan.bat files. Uh, this one is used for running transformations and there are two other two files one of those kitchen.bat and kitchen.sh so these are used for running the transformations sorry uh, trans not transformation but running jobs so kitchen and .sh and kitchen.bat are used for running jobs and jobs so basically .bat is used for running the transformation run jobs on windows and .sh will be used for running the transformation and jobs for you know on linux environments so other than this there are two other important directories uh, one is lib so lib will contain all the jars these are driver files you know, jars is nothing but driver files connecting the various data sources so let's say if you want to connect to the mysql so you need to have one mysql driver jar should be should be there in this library library directory so that you if, uh, without that jar file you cannot connect to, connect to the data sources so uh, likewise so if you see if you see uh, mysql connector and mysql jdbc so these two in these two jar files i have installed for uh, connecting um connecting to my local mysql database and and sql server database as well so that's how you need to have a jar and connect to the data sources and other other would be log so while running the transformation and jobs if you mention log file explicitly so log will be written to that direct if not then all the logs will be right will be written here so if something goes wrong while well in the transformation or jobs whatever the error generated out of it will be shown in this log directory so likewise if you see all the lag log will be here and that's how the package would be and and there are one few sample if you see sample transformations and jobs will be available in this file so you can check out all those uh, with various scenarios available out of it so let me run this transformation sorry uh in whole pdi now uh, open that so it is starting it is opening a control version so for the first time it takes a little bit of time to open the file but if it and uh, so it runs it is a java application it runs on jvm so uh, it consumes around 1 gb of ram for this whole application so if you are running on the missions which are having low ram uh, like 4 gb so you, it's very hard to run this on the 4 gb mission ram and if it is 8 gb you need to con compromise another app so that you can run uh, only pdi and very much suitable is 16 minimum 16 gb you know uh, because we can run other applications very smoothly if we have a 16 gb ram mission so that that's how the ui look like so if you go to file there is new uh, new transformation and job when you open this file transformation when you try to create one transformation you can find the various components available and where you when you try to create a job so you can find various components we can we can we can see one by one each component with use case with the real real time use cases and you know um, that's how we can going forward we can learn 
and uh, uh, the sulfur I think it's the sulfur in this installation uh, let's meet the next video so that we can start learning a few components in the transformation thank you for now bye